Our next double stop is over the A chord shape. And this lick is inspired by Jimmy uh, Colvard's playing on Dave Dudley's Six Days on the Road. This lick has kind of a shimmy feel, and it's using a, a root as a pedal point to kind of toggle off of. Um, let's bring up the track and take a look at this lick. So for this lick, I'm really not leaving that A chord shape too much at all. Um, I have my low C down here that I'm always coming back to. And on the second and third string, I'm going to be toggling back and forth this major third. So when it's up here at the fifth fret, it's sounding as the third uh, root and third. And I'm doing that with my middle and ring finger. And when I come back to the barred, third back here, it's sounding as the flat seven and nine. It's a pretty cool sound. So I have that bass note, a double stop, bass note, double stop, and then coming back up to the root and third. And that pattern just repeats two times in a row. The only difference is, is that the first time it starts on the downbeat, and the second time it starts on the upbeat. All right, now just by moving the lick from a downbeat to an upbeat is going to shift all those accents and make it sound like a new lick. Um, it's a great way to get uh, a nice little variation or what we call rhythmic variation on a lick uh, just by shifting where you play it within the measure. All right, so now let's talk about some of the variations that I was using on this lick. One was repetition. So I was taking different pieces of the lick and repeating them. I was taking just between the root and the third and root up here. Different combinations of that. I think at one point I was just pulling on and off of that root and third and flat seven and nine. And there I am just pulling away from it. And that's a change in articulation. Combining two compositional devices there. We're doing repetition and uh, rhythmic variation and articulation all in one. Um, I also took this root and third and I dropped these down an octave. Now, yeah, this does pull me out of this chord shape, but it's a great way to get some variation happening in there. So I just tried to find that root and third down an octave and the flat seven and nine down an octave and throw that into the lick. I'm just combining those with a little chromatic passing tone. Okay, so those are some of the variations that we're using on our A chord shape lick here. Um, let's move on to our last lick now over the C chord shape. 